Ronalicious What's up, Linsky? Mein Name ist Alexander und welcome back zurück zu einem weiteren wunderbaren Video auf meinem Kanal. Heute mal was ganz anderes. Heute sind wir immer noch in Men. Leute, ich habe mich gerade auf äh, was vorbereitet. Äh, auf ein geiles, ziemlich geiles Projekt mit MGM, die Crew. Ähm, wer sie nicht kennt, sollte mal ziemlich einschalten. Und da war ich gerade noch am Stüssel. Hab mit dem ein bisschen geübt. Das war ziemlich cool, aber wir sind hier wieder back im Geschehen. Wir sind wieder back im Game. Und zwar in Madden 21. Und ihr seht es schon, mein Greenscreen ist ein bisschen geiler geworden. Äh, wir sind mal letztes Mal stehen geblieben. Ich würde sagen, viel Spaß dabei. Well, Tommy's injury certainly was a setback. But the bond that these two kids have is really strong. And although only one of the heartbreak kids was out there in the second half. Tommy's spirit was with him, and I believe him. You hear from Mr. Matthews? The hoodie gave it away. He's stable. But we're only allowing family to go back right now. That's great, because he's my brother. I'm proud of what he's accomplished this season. I think there's only one individual on everyone's mind tonight. This one's for my brother, Tommy Matthews. You think that's something? I <laughs> should see it in person. <laughs> Oh, man. That's so cool. Uh, 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 thanks so much for coming and bringing this. You kidding me? I wouldn't miss this for anything. Coaching the guys in their best. They waited as long as they could, but no one knew when you might wake up, so they had to catch the flights back. I told Coach I wasn't about to split up the heartbreak kid, so I stay behind, make sure you were all right. Thanks, man. I'm just glad you're here. Hey, they did leave you the trophy. They wanted to make sure you had it when you woke up. <sighs> mm. How you feeling, buddy? <sighs> like a sack of crap. It's funny, because that's exactly what I was going to say you look like. <laughs> hey, man. Promise me one thing. Anything. That you'll come back next year and make him win the championship together. Next year? You know I will, brother. Together. <clears throat> Doc said I shouldn't overdo it. Did she say what caused all this? Yeah. Something about the stress from my filthy roommate leaving his dishes lying around the apartment. She said if it weren't for that, I'd be the pinnacle of health. Please. <laughs> hey, seriously. You gotta start cleaning up after yourself. It's ridiculous. Really? Right now? <laughs> yeah. Is that him? He's an hour early. Coach? Don't look too disappointed. No, no. I was just suspecting Tommy. Come in. Care for a cupcake? No, thanks. So, you here for the party? No. Give me a minute. Okay, Coach. Actually, I'm, uh... I'm here to talk to you. About next season. Yeah. Sure, talk away. It was, uh... There was something you said at the, uh, at the start of the season earlier. It really stuck with me. It's... Something good, I hope? Well, it was... Something you said about... Treat your men like your beloved sons and... I'll follow you into the deepest valley. And that really got me. It got me thinking about... The way I treat you boys and... And I wasn't being fair to you and Tommy, for that matter. Or the team. Wow, Coach, I really appreciate that. All that being said, I, I wanted to go into the offseason with everyone on the same page. I figured the best way that we could do that would be to announce a starter. And, uh... <sighs> Tommy's gonna be our starter. But how could you possibly make that decision after the title game? 
Is Tommy even going to be able to play? Yeah, I spoke with his doctor. Uh, valve replacement surgery was great. He's going to be right as rain. I just don't understand. I know this is hard for you. It's, it's hard for you to process, and, and I hope you believe me when I say that I take no joy in making this decision. But I stand firmly behind it because, frankly, Tommy's a better fit for the offense. Well, what does this mean for me? Well, it, uh, it means that you are at a monumental crossroads in your life, and you've got two choices. You can enter the draft, and based on what you did last year, I'd say you'd be lucky to get picked in the third round. But realistically, you're looking at a late-round selection, if at all. Jeez, don't sugarcoat it for me. Well, I'm trying to be open and honest with you from this moment forward. I'm giving it to you as I would my own beloved son. And my other choice? Well, the way I see it, you got too much raw athleticism to waste sitting on the bench. Your talent is a true gift. And it's one that I'm gonna give you the opportunity to show it to the world. And how's that? You get to pick a new position on offense and get your heartbreak kids thing going back again. Heartbreak kids. <laughs> well, well, Tommy's already tried recruiting me to come back so we can win the title together. Does that mean you're in? Plus, he did switch positions once, and you see how well that worked out for him. I guess I can try it too. The heartbreak kids are back, baby. <laughs> Was he eavesdropping? <laughs> Always. <laughs> I'm not sure what's more strange, that interaction or the general cleanliness of this apartment. It wasn't an easy decision at the time, but I don't regret it for a second. Of course, everyone's first thought was, where am I gonna play? It felt good, telling everyone I was sticking around and Tommy and I were gonna play together. The next question was, did it actually work out? Pretty drastic turn of events for Coach O'Brien's program. I mean, the defensive pantry has been pretty much left dry with most of that elite unit having bolted for the NFL. But today, Coach O'Brien revealed a new strategy, and I think it's kind of brilliant, get both heartbreak kids on the field at the same time. I mean, it's really, a brilliant move. Here's the deal. You got to get all of your talented players on the field at once, certainly if they're going to rely on the offense for a change to be the strength of this team if they're planning on making another run at it. All right, Dan, show me what you got. Let's go. Alright, Freunde, ihr habt es gesehen. Tommy Mathis und ich haben die Position getauscht wie in der Highschool. Da war ich Quarterback. Und er Receiver und ich habe es jetzt einfach so gemacht, weil vielleicht bin ich auch gar nicht mal so schlecht als Receiver, aber ich hoffe, dass wir die Möglichkeit haben, beim Draft zu entscheiden, ob wir Quarterback oder Receiver trainieren. Mal schauen, vielleicht gehen wir auch in die Receiver-Change rein. Aber wir haben es gechanged und wir müssen jetzt 
Ähm, ein bisschen trainieren. Oh, das ist ja. Ach, wir spielen Tommy Matthews. Einen aggressiven Casual machen. Scheiße. Alright, nice, nice. 